Now I have the pleasure of inviting your valedictorian, Miss Rebecca Champong, to present her valedictory address on the behalf of the class, of the behalf of the graduate students. Mr. Champong. I'm sorry, I, I told myself I wasn't going to cry, but I can't help it. Because when I started this course, I told um, Mr. Kalan, I told him I don't want to be an ordinary student, that I wanted to live here with merit. And so I'm really honored to be here today. And so I'm sorry. My group one, I'm sure they are laughing at me by now. <laughs> MAPC. So, um, Chairman of the University Council, Congregation Speaker, Vice Chancellor, Members of the University Council, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Deans, Members of Convocation, Alumni of UPSA, Members of the Media, Nime Name, Traditional Leaders, Graduating Students, Ladies and Gentlemen. I am indeed honored and glad to have been chosen to deliver the valedictorian speech for the first session of the 14th Congregation of UPSA on behalf of the class of 2022 of the University of Professional Studies, Accra, I humbly welcome you all to this memorable occasion. My name is Rebecca Echampon Sani Daniel, but some of you would rather call me Becca, which is fine by me. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to acknowledge our highly respected Vice Chancellor, Professor Oko Amate, an commission per excellence, the leader of this great institution, a spiritual head in church, and a moral upstanding citizen of this nation, which is not a surprise, sir, that your academic colleagues and contemporaries have so much regard and respect for you. In the words of John C. Maxwell, a leader is one who knows the way, shows the way, and goes the way. Sir, we are grateful for your mentorship and guardians. My sincere gratitude to all the lecturers for your commitment to excellence, especially my female lecturers, as you all know, I could be quite biased when it comes to women. Dr. Linda Na and Dr. Matilda Asante, you are indeed role models. Dr. Henry, who took our creative classes. <laughs> yes, Dr. Henry, I'm sure you all <laughs> You have birthed a gold mine in all of us. Your fountain of knowledge will always flourish and replenish as you continue this beautiful task of imparting knowledge daily. You are indeed the backbone of this great nation and may God bless you all. I really hope someone out there can be inspired by me or by this and challenge for even higher and better. To every parent, guardian, loved ones we the graduating class of 2022 would like to thank you for your support for your care love and understanding through this period we'd really appreciate your sacrifices tangible and intangible without you we might not have been here today so we really hope that we have made you proud being a mother now a wife a career professional a singer Further, my education seemed quite impossible, but thanks to my ever-supporting husband, Dr. Sunny Daniel, who was always there to remind me that it was very, very possible, that there's nothing you cannot do under the sun if you dare to try. Every single young girl out there, that you are smarter than you can ever, ever imagine, do not underestimate the power of a determined woman, the mind of a determined woman. To my beautiful daughter, I know you're streaming. This is the minimum standard expected by your parents. <laughs> a special shout out to my MABC's class, especially my group one members. We are always the loudest. <laughs> you are the true definition of team, of the word team. I appreciate you so much and thank you for holding me down. To my special breed, of sharks in this 2022 graduating class. You are some of the brightest minds I have ever come across in my entire life. And I am completely proud of you all. Please, 
graduating class of 2022, in all humility, please stand up and give yourselves a resounding round of applause. Please, louder than that. Louder than that.